everybody! Today I thought I'd finally show you my tulip pink fabric. So, I hope I've gathered it all because I'm coming to find that my stash is kind of strewn all over in so many different places. Like, most of it's in, you know, the general area. But a lot of it is in little, you know, different boxes. And so, I'm hoping this is the vast majority of my tulip pink fabric. But it does seem a little light, so hopefully this is everything. But, you know, as I find some more, like I found more Amy Butler fabric since the video when I was looking for tulip pink fabric. So maybe at the end of this I could show, you know, what was missed out on. You know, when I organize my stash and make it all, you know, nice and neat and organized. So, here we go. Here's the tulip pink stash that I have. First up, we have this very pretty ladybug fabric. I really like this one. It's a voil, too. So, it's nice and soft. See that? Drape. And then, next up, we have these raccoons. I thought the raccoons were very cute. And then here's the raccoons in another colorway. That's pretty. And then, here's another fabric. This one's pretty neat, very colorful. And then we have this one. Here's the deer. It's pretty floral. And then there's this cute one with bees. Isn't that cute? I love bees. And then there's this cute graphic flower. Kind of a different take on a flower there. And then here are the deers. And another colorway. And then here I have a bundle. I like this line, so got a bundle of that one. And then have this bundle of the um, Moonshine collection, which has some of these that I already showed you in it, the flowers and the deer. And then, here's another pretty one with the unicorns. I made a quilt out of the unicorns. Oh, see, the head isn't showing now. Let's see. Oh, here we go. The unicorn one. This one's really cute, too. That goes with it. Because these little flies, or um, lightning bugs, or whatnot, they kind of, you know, set apart from the rest of the fabric because of the texture. And then here's the little unicorns. And here's the, what I call the 
sea monster print with the marble effect. And there's a few more of these from the line. Here was another cute one that I got. The fox and the bunnies and the birds. And then there was this with it. This one's really pretty. And then here's another one. I think this one was from Moonshine also. And then this one's pretty cool. With the girl on the swing and the catching butterflies and there's a turtle. And then here's one that I really like. That was an older find that I found at a quilt shop. Sometimes when you visit different quilt shops, you end up finding some pretty cool old fabrics that didn't get bought up. And then I got this to go with it too. This one's pretty cool. Same story, I got all these three at the same time. These two and then this one. This one's a Paris wheel. So I bought all these together to go together. This one has a little mice in there. It's really cute. And then here's one of my very favorites. The raindrop. This was from Prince Charming, which was the first line where I like found out about Tulip Pink and noticed her fabric. So I got the raindrops and the Prince Charming. I really like this frog print. And then in the other colorway, it's really cute too with all the pinks. Here he is in the pink. I really like this one. See how cute is that? And then there were snails in the line. Uh, this was from the unicorn line also, I believe. I even got my hands on some of this. This is a cool one. A butterfly or moth that looks like an owl. Let's see, then there's this hummingbird print. Or is it just a bird? Bird print. And then here was from Tula's, I believe it was a nursery type line. And it's poplin, it's softer. There's, I got a few of these. Butterfly. Here's there's this cute ladybug. Here's one I found that was. lucky enough to find it. I missed this one. There was this one. So just all a lot of cute fabrics. I missed this one. A lot of these are little pieces that I made like quilts out of and then I you know just have a little left. Should I show this one? This one's pretty. Alright, 
So, there's also these jelly rolls that I found. There are, I have three of them. I believe this is a quilt kit that I got. And that should be the backing fabric. This is a cool fabric. And then there's this one. And the bunnies. Polka dot bunnies are hit. Alright, so I found what I was looking for. My special hush fabric. I have these. So these I found, you know, way late. I, I was late to the Tulip Pink game, obviously. But I found these for sale. And so these are really special. So I had to find my hiding spot for them. And then I also have the owl. Just a little piece. What's that? Like a back quarter of the owl. Cute little guy. And then the bunnies. Cute bunnies. So I did manage to find some hushabai. Which was very exciting. I guess I think all this is hush it by, unless it's some of it's full moon forest. Let's see. This one's hush it by too. Yeah, I think they're hush it by. So I have my little secret baggie of all my good special two of these fabrics. Like this one, this one, and I have this color. So these are my favorites. So I'm excited to make something with those at one point. So that's a wrap on my tulip pink fabric. I hope you enjoyed looking at my tulip pink stash. Okay, so other than getting really toasty in the garage, this experience is very fun because I get to learn about all these fabrics that have been just hiding away in the garage that I haven't used. And I think this would be a really cute quilt to make. So each time I go through my stash, I'm reminded of the pretty fabrics I have that I need to use. And with what's going on right now, I was really disappointed to not be able to go to quilt shows, you know, this season, because in the fall, there's a lot of quilt shows in my area. It's always so exciting to go to them. It's fun to see, you know, the vendors that you've come to know over the years and see all the new fabrics and just be out there with the fall vibes and feel the pretty fabrics and see everything and see your friends and... Even though none of us really need any more fabric, you know, it's just something fun, it's tradition. So it'll be a bummer not to go to those this year, but at least I can go through my stash and find some things that I forgot about. So I really hope you liked watching the video and for the next one, it's probably gonna be Heather Ross, Valerie Wells, or Anna Maria Horner. So, look forward to that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.